Hey y'all, welcome back to another What's for Dinner. To start off the week, I made some tortilla pizzas using these car balance tortillas. I started by laying them out on a tin foil lined cookie sheet. You can fit three per sheet, so I did end up having to use two to feed the whole family. Next, I'm going to whip out my extra virgin olive oil cooking spray, and I am just going to spray both sides of the tortilla. This is what's going to help really crisp it up. And then I'm going to pop those in the oven at 400 degrees for about five to six minutes. And then I'm going to pull those out and top them with some pizza sauce. I'm trying this new one by Ragu. It's this margarita pizza sauce. It caught my eye at the grocery store. I found it at Walmart and it had a really good taste to it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again just because it was pretty chunky it had large chunks of tomatoes in it which I try to pick out um I know that's just me being picky though and a lot of people are not like that but if you've been with me for a while now y'all know I just can't stand that like in spaghetti sauces pizza sauce or anything like that um, my kids are the same way unfortunately but yeah I think I'll just stick to the great value pizza sauce that's the one that I found we really like and I guess it is what I get for trying to be a little fancy but it's okay. Now on to the cheese. So I did shred up some fresh mozzarella as well as a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. And then I wanted to add a little bit of seasoning. So I just added about a pinch of Italian seasoning to each one. I feel like that stuff can overpower quickly if you use too much. And then lastly, I'm just going to lay on some of this turkey pepperoni. And I'm just going to pop those right back into the oven for a few minutes. Basically just until that cheese melts. And that is it, guys. So simple. This is a great thing for even kids to throw together. It's just that easy, and it's perfect for busy nights. For me, this is when we just came back from vacation, so we were unpacking, and then we had people in the house while we were gone doing some drywall work and painting, so I was left with a huge mess. So these were just a lifesaver. So for mine, I'm just adding some crushed red pepper flakes for some spiciness and then some parsley for color. And then I served it with a side salad. We just have some lettuce, tomatoes, eggs, bacon, some of this Bolt House Farms yogurt ranch dressing, and then a loss of black pepper. So, so yummy, guys. On Tuesday, I tried a new recipe for a chicken taut pot pie. So basically, a chicken pot pie, but instead of a biscuit topping, it is a tater tots. So to make that, I started off by adding some cooked and diced chicken to a large mixing bowl. To make that chicken, I just simply baked it with some olive oil and some of this super blend steak seasoning. It's technically meant for beef, but hey, it's my kitchen. I don't follow the rules. Next, I added in a whole can of cream of chicken soup. This is supposed to be a healthier version. I don't know if I necessarily believe that, but hey, we're trying to make some small changes around here. Then I'm going to add in some sour cream followed by some milk. I am using almond milk. Then I'm also going to add in a whole bag of frozen mixed vegetables. For the seasonings, I'm just using some onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt and lots of black pepper. Next, I am going to take some cheese that I shredded up. This is some sharp cheddar. It's about a cup. And then that is it for this mixture. I'm just going to combine all that together, pull out my casserole dish that I have sprayed with some cooking spray so that nothing will stick. And then I am just going to pour that mixture in and spread it on out evenly, top it with some tater tots and throw it in the oven. Mm. a good recipe but I definitely prefer that biscuit topping but this was a fun way to switch it up and it made a ton so we did have this for leftovers on Wednesday as well. On Thursday I made this sausage potato and green bean bake. 
So the sausage that I'm going to be using is this one by Hillshire Farm. This is a staple in my house. I always have it in my fridge. It's good in so many things and it stays good for a long time. So I just thinly sliced that and then I threw it on into my hot skillet. I did pour in about a quarter cup of water and I'm just going to let that brown up. Meanwhile, I took some of these honey gold bite-sized potatoes and I just washed those and chopped those in half. And then I am drizzling them with some olive oil. And then I'm going to season them generously with some of this Laurie's seasoned salt. I also added in some onion powder. And then, of course, my black pepper, a big spoonful of minced garlic, and I am just going to toss those around to make sure they are all evenly coated. And then I'm going to take the brown sausage and pour that in on top. Next, I added in two drained cans of green beans. I did get the no salt added kind. And then guys, I found this Cajun Power garlic sauce at a Bass Pro Shop. I didn't really know what to use it on, so I just decided to try it on this. I poured in a good amount and just coated that whole mixture into that sauce. And guys, this was a game changer. It seriously made this dish so much flavor. So I just dumped all that out into a greased baking dish. And then I'm just taking little pats of butter and just adding that all over the dish, trying to spread it out as evenly as I could. And then I'm just going to top that with some tin foil, and that's going to go in the oven at 400 degrees from 45 to 50 minutes. This is one of my favorite dishes. There is so many ways to prepare it. The crock pot, instant pot, grill. I've tried them all, but this was probably my favorite. And I just served it with some fresh sweet corn that I buttered and seasoned with some garlic, salt, and pepper. And then I cut up a cantaloupe, and it was actually a good one. I have not had good luck here recently. But here's everything all tied together. This plate just screams summer to me, and my kids love this meal. They both clean their plates. On Friday, we fired up the charcoal grill and threw on some of these great value beef burgers or just frozen. I seasoned them with some of that same Mr. Steak seasoning. And then we also threw on these Johnsonville turkey cheddar smoked sausages. See, along with that, I also made a Mexican street corn pasta salad. So I started off with the dressing. In this bowl, I'm adding some sour cream and mayonnaise, giving that a quick stir. And then I'm going to add the zest of a lime, followed by the whole juice of that lime. And the recipe in the comments, a lot of people said to double that dressing recipe that it wasn't enough. So I just stuck with the original um, amount listed for the dressing and then I just half the pasta so I used eight ounces instead of the 16 ounces but then I just added in some garlic powder chili powder salt and pepper just stirred in those seasonings and then I took some fresh cilantro and I just chopped that up the best that I could and added that on in and then I threw on in that cooked and drained rotini pasta that had cooled down quite a bit and then I added in a can of drained corn. I'm going to be using some queso fresco cheese. I just tore off a chunk of that and just crumbled it on in. And here's everything all together. I have some zucchini. I took one of those burgers and instead of a bun, I used lettuce, topped it with some mustard and pickles. I have one of the turkey sausages. And then that pasta salad, guys, was so good. I highly recommend it. And then on Saturday, instead of going out, we just ate leftovers. So we finished off the rest of that sausage, potato, and green bean bake. And then we also finished off that pasta salad. On Sunday, I tried another new recipe, and this one is vegetarian. So I started by heating up some olive oil into my skillet, and I'm going to be throwing in this whole box of the Mrs. T's Four Cheese Medley Pierogies. I did not find this recipe on Pinterest, so I can't like link it. I found it on the Mrs. T's website. I should still be able to link it, but just in case I can't, um, if you can't find it, just send me a DM over on Instagram. My username is just Chris and Step, and I'd be happy to send you the screenshot. But I just let those cook for about 10 minutes and remove those to a separate plate. And then I added in a little bit more olive oil, threw in a spoonful of minced garlic, as well as some dried basil. And I just sauteed that around for about 30 seconds. And then I added in half a cup of vegetable broth. Then I'm going to be adding in the zest of a lemon. Then I'm going to take half of that lemon and squeeze in the juice. And then I'm throwing in some fresh broccoli. And I'm just going to let that steam for about 
five to six minutes, but that's just your personal preference, how you like your broccoli. Meanwhile, I mix together half a cup of milk and one tablespoon of cornstarch, and I just stirred that until there was no longer any lumps. And then I just poured that on into the skillet. And it took like less than a minute for that to thicken up into a sauce. Then I'm going to take some shredded fresh Parmesan cheese and pour that on in there. The recipe said half a cup. I probably used a little bit more. But I'm just going to stir that around and let that melt. And then I'm going to toss back in those pierogies to heat back up. And I'm just going to toss all of this together and lastly season it with some salt and pepper. I thought this recipe was going to be a fail because it just wasn't looking right to me. It wasn't making too much sense to me. But y'all, this was seriously amazing. I could even go as far as saying it was my favorite recipe of the week. You guys have to try it. I'm definitely saving this recipe and will be making it again. But that does in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.